Today's topic is Gauss elimination method and this topic is from matrices and linear system of equations. So we have to solve the system of equations given below. So in order to solve this, the system of equations can be written as The system of equations can be written as, so here the quotient of x is 1, so this is 1, 1, 1 and here the quotient of uh, x is 3, y is 3 and z is 4. So this is 3, 3, 4 and here the quotient of x is 2, y is 1 and z is 3 into, so this is x, y, z is equal to this is a 6 this is 20 and this is 13 so this is of the form ax is equal to b so this is of the form ax is equal to b so we have to prepare an augmented matrix the augmented matrix for the following equation is so this is a b so here first the a matrix is 1 1 1 this is 3 3 4 and this is 2 1 3 and again this column is 6 this is 20 and this is 13. So now we have to find the rank in the echelon form. So first of all I am using this first diagonal element. So using this first diagonal element, I have to make this 0 as well as this 0. So this is row 2 and this is row 3. See our operation will be R2 is equal to R2 will be as it is like this. And we have to multiply with 3 and subtract in order to make this 0. So this will be minus 3 R1. And again in order to make R3 0, see R3 is equal to R3 will be as it is minus we have to multiply with 2 r1 see here our operations will be so this is of row 2 and row 3 so row 1 will be as it is this is 1 1 1 6 and row, row 2 operation is i'll show you so this is all the rough part i'm explaining you for the explanation i'm writing here so this is row 2 minus 3 r1 so what is row 2 here row 2 is 3 3 4 20 so this is 3 3 4 and this is 20 and minus in between and r1 should be multiplied with 3 so this is r1 should be multiplied with 3 3 1 so 3 and again 3 1 so 3 and this is 3 1 so 3 and 3 6 are, this is 18 and here 3 minus 3 this is 0 this is 0 and this is 1 and this is 2 and again for r3 the operation so r3 it is operated on a row 3 and this is row 3 minus 2 row 1 so what is uh, row 3 so row 3 is 2 1 3 13 so this is 2 1 3 this is 13 and minus and we have to multiply row 1 with 2 so 2 1 is so 2 and 2 1 so 2 again and again 2 1 so 2 and 2 6 are, this is 12 so 2 1 2 minus 2 this is 0 so 1 minus 2 is minus 1 and this is 1 and this is plus 1 so here the second diagonal element is needed here it is 0 so I am going to interchange row 2 as well as row 3 so if I interchange see what happens here so 1 1 1 6 so row 3 as row 2 so this is 0 minus 1 1 1 so this is row 3 and i am using it as row 2 and again row 2 as row 1 0 0 1 2 and there is no need of making it 0 it is already 0 the first diagonal element i have used and make the, made these two 0 and using this i have to make this 0 and it is already 0 and we have to split in the form of see now i can write this in the form of so this is 1 1 1 and this is 0 minus 1 1 and this is 0 0 1 into this is x y z is equal to this is a 6 1 2. So if I multiply that is 1 into x is x 1 into y is y and 1 into z is z is equal to 6. And here 0 into x is 0 this is minus y and 1 into z is z is equal to 1. So 1 into z is equal to 2 so i got straightly the value of z as 2 
so after getting the z value i have to substitute in this equation minus y plus z is equal to 1 if i keep the z value as 2 and y value will be see here y value will be 2 minus 1 and y value is 1 so after substituting y and z in this equation x plus y plus z is equal to 6 so this is x plus y plus z is equal to 6 so x y value is 1 and z value here is 2 which is equal to 6 so x plus 3 is equal to 6 and x is equal to 6 minus 3 and x is equal to 3 and now we got all the values of uh, x this is y and this is z so x value is 3 y value is 1 and z value is 2 so 3 1 2 are the solutions of the given equation and this is how we have to solve and this is so simple if you follow boss elimination method is so simple and my next topic will be uploading very soon and please have a look at those and it will be very useful for your preparation and uh, so you have to write it in the form of ax is equal to b and we have to frame an augmented matrix and again we have to use this um, operations and after using these operations again we have to frame again in the form of ax is equal to b and we'll be getting the three equations these are the three equations so after substituting each and every value in the above equation, we will be getting x, y, z value and this is the final solution and this is how we have to solve. And these are the most important questions. If you follow these videos and you will cover any, any problem using Gauss elimination method, you can solve any system of equations. Thank you so much for watching and staying till the end. You know what to do before you leave. Raise your thumb and subscribe to this channel and leave a comment below. Thank you so much.